If you want to uh, get a, an understanding of the, of the concept, um, then I think one um, interesting element is that it does not define what disinformation is. It refers to illegal content, and even illegal content is not defined in the Digital Services Act, but it refers to the uh, national definitions of legal and illegal content. Coming back to Hungary, that means that this kind of content that is uh, deemed illegal uh, in Hungary is something that can be now enforced um, under the concept that the uh, DSA is constructing and that is being built right now as we speak. Um, and the companies are working on implementation um, of the of the DSA. So that is something um, you might already see that I'm not a big fan of the DSA. Um, will come some um, good out of it, I'm sure, but there are some uh, downsides as well. And the regular concept is, again, we do not look at an individual piece of content uh, under the DSA, but it's all about structures and procedures. It's about effective complaint mechanisms that uh, um, platforms have to, um, to um, establish. And there is a system how uh, trusted flaggers can be accredited by national coordinators that are the regulators uh, under the DSA um, that we now have to set up. In Germany, it's a big fight who should be the coordinator. Um, different entities want to be that because they see there is, uh, will be an important um, um, duty to be fulfilled. Um, there is data access for researchers, um, something which I think is important because the knowledge base uh, uh, plays a role. There's an interesting element here that we call hybrid regulation, that is that the DSA acknowledges that there is a level of private regulation community standards and wants to influence how companies uh, um, act on their own private rules and uh, want to um, force them to um, uh, recognize the user's um, freedoms. Uh, that's freedom of speech, obviously, but it's also freedom for academic research uh, that can play a role here. We are working on that.